Hey guys, I'm Katie or Katie Does Art and in this tutorial we're going to be making a barn. So um, go ahead and make a cube and then let's make it, let's just start off with a 4x4x4 four by four by four. and then most likely we're going to want to make it a bit more um, wide this way. So let's do our depth to like 6 and then let's go ahead and move our Y to 2 so it's on the ground. Alright, that should be pretty good for the beginning. So I'm going to make the divisions 8 by 8 by 12 and then let's go ahead and select this edge going all the way around this top face. And then go ahead, let's control B to bevel it. That looks good. So next thing you wanna do is let's go ahead and select these. Um, we're gonna go ahead and select these top faces. What we're going to do is move these up and then scale them in to make that point on our um, roof. So um, you can just scale them in on this axis on the right. And then now what you want to do is just get rid of this row. So click control and then double click on the next one. And then let's go ahead and move that guy up and scale that guy in. So it comes to an, a smaller point like that. All right. So as you can see, we've got the beginning of our um, barn shape. And the next thing we just need to do is go ahead and create that roof. So we're going to be selecting those top faces. So those guys. plus all of these guys. So what I would do is just hold tab when you're doing this and then you can grab them all. Hopefully just by going over them in a clear path like that. There we go. All right, and then hold shift. And then let's go ahead and extrude those guys. Oh, make sure that you don't have these front facing ones. You don't want these guys in the front or in the back. So just deselect those. Now let's extrude and thicken it. All right, that looks good. Let's do like 0.2. And then you're going to grab these faces, this row right here, and you're going to grab this row on this side as well, and then click extrude and up that thickness, probably to like one. That way it just overlaps on each side. All right, and then let's go ahead and do the same with this. making sure you got all of those guys and then do the back side as well and extrude and just increase that thickness to most likely 0.5 since we did 0.5 on our other side all right so um, we've got the beginning of our barn basically down. The next thing we can do is just add some uh, doors and then add some windows and that's basically it. So go ahead and select these faces, extrude, offset them into, let's say like 0.1. 
and then go ahead and select this outer ring and extrude and thicken that by 0.1. Now let's do the same to the other side. So select these faces, extrude and offset it in 0.1, then select these outside faces, extrude and thicken by 0.1 as well. Select these faces, extrude, offset them in, 0.1. Go ahead and then click W and move it down. And then extrude and thicken that by 0.1. All right. So that's basically the beginnings of um, the doors in the front. So they're just cute little, little sliding doors. And then let's go ahead and make a window on the top. So go ahead and just select these faces, extrude and offset that in, maybe like 0.1. And then you can select that outer ring and extrude and thicken it by 0.1. I'm just trying to make all the trim the same, basically. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and make some windows. Let's do windows like that. So two on the outside, a four in the middle, and a two on the outside like that. And then we can go ahead and extrude those guys. Offset them in 0.1. And then you're going to go through and select all those faces. Holding shift down while you do it, so you select them all. I'm just clicking one and then double clicking the one directly next to it. Extrude and thickness to 0.1. And then let's go ahead and um, make some doors on the back. So. Let's select these guys, extrude, offset them in 0.1, then select that outer, extrude, and thicken by 0.1. Do the same thing with these faces. Go ahead and offset by 0.1 again, and extrude. Offset by 0.1, and then select that outer ring, and add thickness to 0.1. Now let's go ahead and select this row up here, extrude, offset in 0.1, click W, and then move it down, and then extrude thickness to 0.1. And then let's make a window on the top. Extrude, offset in by 0.1, and select that outer ring and extrude and thicken by 0.1. All right, so now we've basically got all of the details of our barn. Um, I think what might be kind of cool is if we added like a little thing on top that was um, one of those um, like wind catcher type things. So I'm just going to scale a cylinder and then we can push it into our barn. And then normally like these things have, you know, like a rooster or some other things. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make like a little arrow to kind of go on it. Let's scale that guy down just a smidge to be a little bit more like a pole. And then make sure it's not poking out down here. Go ahead and duplicate that. And then in P cylinder 2, rotate it 90 degrees. 
and then maybe rotate it a smidge more so it's got a little different uh, rotation on it. Go ahead and scale that guy down a little bit and then you can scale him out. Now on the edge, I'm just going to be adding um, one of these cones to one end. So let's go ahead and rotate that guy 90 degrees and then you're gonna scale it down. Let's move it over here. It's basically gonna be just like the little end of our arrow, um, as you guys could guess. Go ahead and scale that guy down. And then bring it back over here. And then you can rotate it to be somewhat of the same degree of rotation as the bowl. All right, so that's one end of it. And then the other end is kind of a weird, um, cube like shape so go ahead and grab a cube and then scale it down bring it on over here to the end of our pole scale it down some more let's go ahead and rotate it so that it looks like it's matching up and then i'm going to rotate it this way and then go ahead and just connect that like so. And then duplicate that guy. And then you're gonna wanna move this guy down and over similar to that. So you wanna um, scale this guy up a smidge. Then you can move it Click the original cube, then the copy, then do mesh booleans difference. So it should cut a little uh, thing out of that. Um, and then select those three objects and do mesh combine. So now we've got an arrow. So go ahead and duplicate that guy. And then let's rotate it. So it's pointing just the opposite direction. And then we can go ahead and duplicate that one more time and just press it up here and maybe rotate it to be going a different direction so it's like that so now we've got a cute little um you know wind thing that it's uh kind of going for i think also what would be kind of cool is usually they have something like on top of it like um you know a, a rooster or something like that um so if you wanted to you could take the time to kind of like model something cool like that out of it i think for the most part i'm just gonna leave it as um an easy um, sphere. So um, let's go ahead and just make a sphere and bring it on up here. And then go ahead and click R and scale that guy way down. And then just push it to try and be, you know, as accurate you can get it on top of there. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this guy down a smidge. So that basically concludes um, our barn. If you guys wanna hollow that out, um, I didn't in this tutorial, but technically you could go through and hollow it out and um, extrude the object and things like that. I would probably do that in an earlier step if you really felt like doing that. Um, I'm not gonna be opening it up, so you don't need to do that for my mesh, but totally your option if you would want to do that um but yeah if you guys have any questions let me know um i look forward to our next tutorial where we're um, trying out some different things i think i'm gonna do like a picture frame or something next so stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys next time bye guys